All right, let's uh, take a look at the uh, new HPI Ford GT. It's the uh, RS4 Sport Flux 3. Um, this model was originally released in December, or excuse me, announced in December of 2018. I became aware of it a couple of weeks ago and uh, found this uh, online on an eBay seller. And I think I got one of the first ones. And uh, anxiously got it and uh, broke it out and started uh, modifying it and running it. And I'm just kind of unboxing it. We can see that it comes with a standard, uh, you know, 2.4 gig generic AA battery controller. I've since pulled out that receiver and replaced it with a uh, FlySky 2.4 gig, which I bound to my uh, Futaba 3 channel transmitter. It comes with some batteries. It comes with a little parts bag. I've broken a few things. I might go into that later, but none of the parts that I broke come in that bag. That bag basically has a bunch of parts to uh, adjust the shocks. It has a little dampers that go inside the shocks. Uh, it has a couple of camber adapters for the wheels. It has a uh, wrench to take the wheels off. And then, honestly, a couple of other useless pieces that I haven't needed thus far. We can see that the kit comes relatively unfinished on the body, and if you'll think back to that opening scene, you'll see that there was uh, quite a little bit of detail and customization on the body that I've done already. I'll go into that in a, a bit more detail if I ever get this uh, sucker out of the box here. Um, one of the first things I did was add a lot of pinstriping to it, uh, and then I actually redid some of the uh, number decals on there. And maybe I'll throw up a, a picture here. I made some custom wheel spinners for the wheels as as well. Uh, the pinstriping is really what took uh, took the most uh, amount of time. Uh, it came with uh, these standard orange wheels. Uh, they have different offsets. The uh, front are a six millimeter offset, and the rear are a 9mm offset, which helps bring those wheels out flush with the body. Unfortunately, it's really hard to find 9mm offset wheels from HPI, so what I ended up doing was getting a nice pair of chrome wheels, and you've probably seen those already, and I think they came with a 6mm offset, which was a, a good compromise, so 6 in the front and then 6 in the back. I actually ended up buying some aluminum 10mm hex spacers, which were a little bit longer than the... Uh, standard 8 millimeter plastic so that spaced it out another couple of millimeters so that ended up working out pretty well let's get the body taken off here real quick we'll take a look at the inside it's pretty standard um, it's got room for a, uh, a two or three cell lipo battery and then it's got the uh, brushless motor it's got a uh, nice uh, speed controller with a fan on it and then the uh, waterproof radio box uh, in there as well uh, that's actually where I ended up mounting the uh, gyro was right on top of the uh, waterproof uh, radio box. Um, after changing the wheels, I changed the springs. The black springs that come on there are way too stiff for this. And I also adjusted the uh, body and the travel and the suspension a little bit uh, so that uh, it wouldn't bottom out and it would have better clearance than some of the rough parking lot surfaces that I ride on. Taking a closer look at the body, you can see that really none of the body lines are, are in there. None of the doors, the hoods, uh, the, 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 the engine cover. There's just a lot of black uh, body lines that are missing. The stickers were applied pretty well. There were a few areas that they were on a little crooked, but those are vinyl stickers, so you cannot peel those off. You'll, you'll ruin and warp them just peeling them off. So once I added the pin striping on there, it really kind of helped even out some of the unevenness of the stickers. All in all, they did a, a decent job of, of applying those. Let's go ahead and take another look at it in the parking lot, get a, uh, get a quick view of it uh, running. Now I'm going to crash it a couple of times coming up here soon. Let's, uh, let's take a look. So there you go, there's a first look at the uh, HPI 4 GT RS4 Sport 3 Flux. Really fun car to run, really fun car to uh, sticker up in detail. You see in this shot I've uh, actually ran it outdoors in a, uh, a wet parking lot and it threw quite a little bit of dirt on the side which looks kind of realistic. Uh, so thanks for watching, I sure hope you enjoyed. 
Uh, be sure and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.